Now, the academic staff union of University Izasu has urged its chapters across the country to sensitize members of the public on the situation between the union and the federal governments as it declared Monday, February the 7th, as a lecture free day in a bid to enhance the sensitization. The national president of the union, Professor Emmanuel Osedoko, lamented how the federal government ignored the implementation of some agreements the two parties entered into in 2020. Osadoki said if the federal government fails to do the needful, an indefinite strike would be inevitable. Now joining us on the news at this time is the chairman of the Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASO, University of Abuja, Dr. Umar. Thanks for joining us at this time. You're welcome. Now, ASU embarked on a nine-month strike action in March 2020 following its disagreement with the federal government over the funding of the universities and implementation of the integrated payroll and personal information system, which according to the union negates the autonomy policy for the universities. Now tell us, has anything changed recently? Well, nothing has, nothing has changed significantly. Starting from funding for revitalization of public universities uh, and academic allowances, uh, university transparency accountability solution, UTAC, promotion areas to our members, renegotiation of 2009 ASU LGN agreement, and the inconsistent is is also among all these issues uh, brought before us in the university system in Nigeria. And uh, well, since far back to uh, 2nd August 2021, the last meeting that we were called by the uh, Minister of Labor and uh, employment well, yeah, in attendance with, uh, with NUC uh, representatives for Minister of Education, Finance, Salaries and Income and Wages Commission, representative of NISA, representative of ITPIS, representative of Budget Office, PICA and ASU team. All these issues have been given a timeline on that it will be solved and implemented before October 2021. But as, as we are today, nothing has been done as part of all these issues I have raised. So nothing has changed. Well, that is sad enough. But today has been declared a lecture uh, day uh, in verses across the country. Has it attracted any reactions from the federal government? No, 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 no reaction. Apart from what we heard from uh, NIREC, that is the traditional rulers and the religious leaders, when they met with the Mr. President and they were hiring that the president said he will honor the agreement with ASU. And these are normal promises, which is not new to us. And we felt that nothing has, nothing has changed. And uh, what we agreed at the next, last NEC meeting in Abuja is for all the branches within ASU in public universities in Nigeria to mobilize and sensitize our members. And in each year, each day of these congresses in various universities, the day of the Congress lecture is declared free, which will enable all our members to come and discuss the way forward. So this are the, the day of the Congress is the one declared as the lecture free day. 
All right, from what we understand, uh, there is a planned strike now. So why would this particular strike uh, be different? Uh, do you see any positive impact um, this time around? No, come again. You know, from what we hear, there is a proposed strike. Uh, so would there be any positive impact this time around? You see, ASU does not declare strike maybe at the pages of newspaper. But the point is that all our members across the country are agitated because of the naturalent attitude of the federal government to these issues. Take, for instance, the renegotiation of 2009 agreement, in which the committee set up by the same federal government have worked tirelessly with our union to get the document drafted. And the same government promised that within the place of that October, that the Ministry of Education should set up a, a small committee to look into the draft document to, to, to be taken to the Presidential Committee on Salaries and Wages for input and onward submission to the Mr. President for subsequent approval. Since that October, nothing has been heard of on that. Look at the issue of, of UTAS. The government on its part challenged our union that we should get an alternative to IPPIS, which is to be produced within one year. Our union worked tirelessly and get, and get UTAS ready, which neither government agencies subjected it to, to end user test and workshop. And they, in their report, they are judged that the UTAS is successful. Since that time, it has not been deployed to university for use. So what we are saying in this case, if you have a government that is not conscious of what is the plight of uh, the educational system going by all this? What do you do? It is a question of sensitizing the Nigerian society and all many Nigerians, including the traditional rulers, uh, the religious leaders, to know that any act that will come out of this struggle also should not be blamed rather than the federal government. All right, thank you so much. Um, indeed, we have been speaking with Dr. Kasim Omar. He's the ASU chairman, University of Abuja chapter. Many thanks for being a part of the news now on PLUS TV Africa. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.